Okay, so far we have written the code for calibration. You're disabling the enable, invoking the calibration, and waiting until the calibration is reset by the microcontroller. Then we're selecting a clock source for the ADC. We have to tell the reset and clock control register that we're enabling the ADC. And the specific clock that works with the ADC is the HSI 14, and we're turning it on here. We're looking at the ready signal for the HSI 14 clock, and we're waiting until it's equal to a one. And then within the ADC register, configuration register, we are connecting this clock to the ADC. And the last thing we did was to enable the ADC. And we're waiting until the ADC is enabled using the AD ready bit in the ISR register. We still need to configure a few bits and registers before we actually start doing the sampling. And the sampling requires a certain specification of sampling time. We wanna make sure that we provide enough time for the ADC to do its sampling. The way to do this is to go into the ADC sampling time register, the ADC SMPR. And we're gonna be adjusting these bits here at zero, one, and two. And in this demonstration, I'm gonna be using the slowest sampling time. So it gives us the most sampling time possible to do the conversions. So we're gonna to have to place one, one, one in the zero, one, and two bits of the SMPR register for the ADC. So to access the SMPR register, we're going to our ADC1 and the SMPR register. And we're gonna use the or equals to write ones in the zero, one, and two. We could just put in a binary number to put ones in those positions from zero to two, but of course there are macros already defined for us in the header file for the microcontroller. So we'll just use those. So we're turning on bits zero, one, and two, the SMP sample bits. Now we need to set the channel for the ADC. And this is the internal temperature sensor, the channel select register. And the one we want is number 16, because number 16 is the channel for the temperature sensor, the internal temperature sensor. But this is not the only thing we have to do. We still have to wake up the internal temperature sensor and that has its own bit. And the ADC in the CCR register has a bit called TSEN and that will tell the microcontroller that we're ready or tell the microcontroller to start the temperature sensor. And the next line of code, I'm not sure if I really actually need it, but in the documentation, it says to use this if you're using the temperature sensor. And it's the, the, v, um, the voltage reference, or VREF. And it's also under the CCR register. And you'll see that VREF enable is here. And we're gonna enable the, re, the voltage reference. We are finally at a point where we can start converting. So we have set up all of, this, all of the configuration that we need, which is not that many. So let's go ahead and start converting and grabbing the, the data from the microcontroller from the conversions. To do this, we need to start the ADC. So we're gonna to go to the ADC one control register and we're gonna write a one to the AD start bit, AD start. And we need to make sure that the conversion has been completed. So when we, when we actually write a one to the AD start, it's going to start converting. It's gonna automatically start converting and we need to allow the microcontroller to wait until it has completed that conversion. So we're going to create another while loop. And within this while loop, the condition is gonna be in the ISR register. ADC1 in the ISR register is the interrupt and status register. Status is the key here. As we looked in the ISR register up here, we looked at the status of the ADC being ready. 
we're also going to look at the status of the conversion being complete. And that bit in the status register is the EOC bit, which means end of conversion. So when the end of conversion flag has been set, then we know the conversion is complete and we can go ahead and grab the data. So let's keep this while going while it's zero and then exit the while when it's one. So when it's one, we can go ahead and grab it. So where in this mod controller is this data hiding? If you take a look at the data register for the ADC, you'll notice that from bits zero all the way to bit 15, which is 16 bits, is, av is available. But the resolution has a maximum of 12 bits. So even though it's reserved for 16 bits, you're only gonna be able to see 12 of those bits. But they use the 16 bits, interestingly, because you can actually left align or right align the numbers within these bits. And to do that, you can use the configuration register one for the ADC and select these bits. I'm not gonna do that in this particular demonstration, but it's available to you if you find the need to do that. So we have the possibility of storing that data in some variable or just printing it to the LCD. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to set the cursor location on the line two or the second line. And I'm gonna send an integer to the LCD and this is where I'm sending the data. And I'm gonna give it seven, seven characters for the length or seven digits. I would like to put somewhere here on the LCD that the conversion has started or showing that there is some kind of label showing that this is a temperature sensor. So let's see how many characters I have. Let me use temp. Okay, now I'm gonna blank out the next one. So on the first line, you will see temperature sensor, and then on the next line, you should see the data. Let's build it and see if it actually works. Looks like we have some errors here. Let's see what we did wrong. I used ACD, not ADC here. So let's correct that one first and see if the other one goes away as well. Which line was that? Let's see. Oh, it's the enable. All the way up here, the first thing I did, ADC. Okay, so let's go ahead and build again and see if we have any other errors. Looks like that we do have one more error. Too many arguments. I put send an instruction and not send an integer. Should be integer here. Okay, that should work. All right, so let's do another build. Hopefully everything is error free. Okay, looks good. So let's go ahead and program the microcontroller and see if this works. Okay, I flashed the microcontroller, but I noticed that it was just giving me a blank screen. And the reason why it did that is because I didn't put in these two lines of code to initialize the LCD and set up the LCD display. And from the LCD tutorials, this is the first thing we have to do to make the LCD work. So I'm gonna try and flash on my controller again. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build it first to see if we have any errors. And it looks good. And now I'm going to flash on my controller and see if it works. Okay, the my controller is flashed. And you can see it's working. And it went through all of the initial verifications and validations. Let's take a look at that again. Okay, so it's starting the calibration, started the clock, enabled the ADC, and now it's reading the temperature sensor. And you can see that it has a value of 1743 to 45, 46. And I'm gonna put my finger on top of the microcontroller to see if it changes. I'm putting my finger on it, and it looks like it went down to in the teens. Now the 1712 doesn't really mean much in temperature, and I have to check to see if this is a valid 12-bit number. But we definitely know that it's more than 1024, so it's more than a 10-bit number. 
So in the next video, we'll evaluate this number, see what we can do with it, see if we can convert it into an actual temperature, and check, the, check to see if it's actually working correctly. Thank you for watching.